So this is my kitchen. Uh, this is a system we've used for the last couple of years. Um, very simple, not much to it. Uh, but yeah, I can't see any real great ways to improve it. It um, does everything I need it to do. So starting off with cooking, I prefer to have hot meals and breakfast and things like that. So I, I do take a gas cooker, even though the trend in the States is to go stoveless and, and not, not cook. Um, I've got uh, your usual little 100 gram gas cylinder, which I use this um, little titanium gas cooker with. It's a BRS 3000T. It's Chinese made. It weighs just 25 grams and it's currently the lightest gas cooker you can get on the market for hiking with. And amazingly only costs about $20-$25. Uh, works super well. Um, it's not so good in wind, uh, which I don't actually, I'm not showing here, but normally I have a couple of sheets of, well not a couple of sheets, but a bit of uh, alfoil folded to make a um, wind cozy around the cooker and the pot to increase its efficiency in wind, but outside of that it works really well, um, easily as well as the jet boil that I've used previously. Um, jet boil is a bit quicker, but this does the job just as well. I've measured the efficiency um, compared to a jet boil and I get about 20 to 22 water boils um, out of a 100 gram gas cylinder, which is basically the same as what I used to get out of a jet boil. Just one uh, Cedar Summit long handled um, alloy spoon, don't really need anything else. I only really use dehydrated stuff uh, for meals and breakfasts and whatnot. So uh, I found that this Tokes 55, uh, 550 mil um, titanium pot does the job, gives me a nice boil, um, and also serves as my cup for soups and coffees and things like that. And it's really, really light, comes with its own little cozy. Uh, that when I put the burner along with the lighters. I have two lighters. Uh, there's this little MSR um, piezo type one, which is the main main one that I use. But then I always carry a little backup mini big lighter with it as well. I haven't really only used it occasionally. Put that stuff inside the pot. And then that all fits in there. No problems inside of a Ziploc bag. And then that goes inside the cozy. And that, that's that's my cooking. Water wise, I've got, I always carry two water bottles. Um, this Aqua Pura, um, slightly flavored water you can get from Coles. They're 1.25 liters. They're great. Um, very simple. It's the lightest per volume of drink water bottle that I've been able to find. Uh, each bottle only weighs about um, 48 grams. So the two of them you know, not very much, and you can carry two and a half liters worth of water. Uh, depending on the water supply, I usually carry one of them full, or I'll start, depending if it's a bit further to the next water supply, I'll carry them both full. But um, I've got capacity for up to two and a half liters. I know a lot of people like, um, you know, hydration bladders and lots of stuff, but they're, they're a lot heavier. I carry these in the side pockets in my pack, and um, if I need a drink, if I have a stop, take pack off. So it's a good excuse to actually just stop and have a drink and take in the surroundings. Water-wise, I um, I know it's a reasonably slow risk, risk of uh, having bad water along the bib track from the water tanks. Uh, but I always carry um, these Marika Poor Fort um, um, Sterilization tablets, one of those does uh, a litre, so I just pop one in each bottle and they, they, they really weigh nothing and um, go through probably three or four of those a day, something like that. Food wise, I pack my food into, organise my food into one of these um, nano weight Cedar Summit mesh bags or, or similar. Um, they're really very light, they're only about 15 grams, just to keep the food organized. And of course, then I use these types of smaller bin liners as my rubbish bag. Uh, pack everything in, pack everything out, and uh, drop, drop it off in the bin when I get to 
any civilization. So that's my kitchen. Not not too much to it. Um, as I said, I always mostly use either bars or uh, packets, um, foil packets of tuna and dehydrated stuff for breakfast and meals, main meals, a couple of drinks, um, energy stuff. So there's nothing really I cook up on the trail. I'm really just adding hot water to stuff to rehydrate.